and hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse Smart, and I'm here today with another brand, brand new tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to make fire in Adobe After Effects CS6. Now, this fire will be animated, so it'll be moving, and you can basically use this fire for your films, um, put it in your films. Um, be aware, this, this fire does not look super professional or realistic. Um, mainly because to do that a lot of videos on YouTube will show you how to make fire but they use some type of template from um, Action Essentials 2 pack which costs about a hundred or two hundred dollars or they downloaded um, which is about 12.5 gigabytes so we don't want to download for that much space we're gonna be waiting for like hours and hours and hours or if you don't want to use a hundred twenty dollars and you're not too picky about how your fire looks then watch it watch this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to make free fire no plugins no nothing just plain Adobe After Effects um, that's all you need nothing else not even an image you need so to do this um, it'll look pretty good it's a pretty good fire so um, first thing we go is go to composition up here click new composition uh, width and the height keep the same um, you can change it if you want I'm gonna keep on the same for duration is how long your composition is gonna be um, put whatever you want I'm gonna have a 12 just leave it in the same if it's like that uh, click OK and next we're gonna layer up here we're gonna click new and click solid now um, for the purpose of this tutorial um, I will, I'm gonna put my at red here if it's black for you I will pick another color uh, if you want to just follow along with me then make it red too um, same dimensions, keep everything the same, click OK. Now, here's your first layer, your solid layer in your timeline. <clears throat> now, we're going to start drawing our fire. You don't need to be the best artist. Um, hold down the, on your pen tool here, hold down your mouse button. Make sure you have the first pen tool selected. Um, the pen tool is right next to your uh, text tool. So click your pen tool and start drawing your fire. It doesn't need to look perfect, it just needs to look kind of like a fire. So there's my fire. If it doesn't look the way you want, you can always move the dots here to make it look a little better. Which is what I'm doing right now to make it look a little better. Because my fires don't generally look that good. Um, I think this will do fine. Right, there we go, that's fine. Alright, so here's my fire flame. Yours probably look a lot better, so it's, it's just, you just follow the same steps. So if you have a better looking fire, congratulations. Um, mine's not that good. So after you have a drawing, you basically just collect, connect the dots and you're done. Now we're going to apply our effects. Go up to effect here, and the first effect, we're going to blur, sharpen, click, our radial blur and uh, you can minimize the effect here click effect again go to uh, distort go down to turbulent displace uh, you can minimize the effect again go to effect again one more and we're going to go to stylize and click glow it's right here we're working with glow first now for your glow threshold which is right here um, make it to zero percent then for your glow radius, you can have anything from uh, 50 to 70. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna make mine 65. Um, but like I said, anything from 50 to 70 should be fine. For glow intensity, I wouldn't have anything above two. So nothing higher than two. I'm gonna make mine a 1.1. So as long as you have it uh, two or below, it should be fine. Now for the original colors here, you wanna click A and B colors. And then um, you can change your colors here. Color A, you want to have a yellowish type of color. So right here, the yellow section, you know, find a yellow color. I already have mine FF000. Oops, FFF00. Right there is my yellow. Uh, I'm going to click enter. And for the second color, the black color here, you want to make sure you have a type of orange color. So FFA 800, it's right here in this section right here. I'm gonna, ha I have my code ready. So just look for an orange type of color, and that'll do fine. Then you click OK, and then we're gonna go over here to the color phase. The color phase, you're gonna change it um, to 160 degrees, 160, and click Enter. 
and you see it looks a lot more fire like now next we're going to go to the um to the uh radio blur i think yeah radio blur now for the radio blur you know, where it says center here you click this click this black box here and you click it and you're going to place it in the center of your flame so these two red dots right here you can just place this in the center of your flame right about here and it should be fine um, next where it says type here from spin you want to place it to zoom and it'll make it look like that and now we're done with a uh, radio blur now we're going to turbulence displace now for turbulence displace you want to make sure that your size actually your complexity is change it from 1 to 10 now what this will do is it will make your flame look like that which looks really cool um, from your size you can have it at 10 which will make it look like a calm fire you can have it at 20 uh, you can have it at uh, 70 you know, whatever type of flame you want the higher your number though generally the higher your number the more wild your flame is going to be so um, for now I'm going to keep mine at 100 uh, next you want to make sure that your for your evolution here you want to make sure that your evolution is at 6 here and for your degrees here you want to make sure it's at 358 like that now the next thing you want to do is you want to click your offset so your offset right here click the black box once again place it in about the center of your flame right about here and then we're going to go to our zoom right here and zoom out to about 12.5 and now we're going to make your fire move we're going to be using the offset turbulence make sure you click your stopwatch here and make sure your timeline markers all the way at the beginning so click your stopwatch and select your turbulence again right here click this box and make sure it's about at the bottom in the center but still at the bottom of your page right about uh, right about here right there and then move your marker all the way to the end of your timeline and click your turbulence again and put it up to about the very top the very top right right about there now go click your zoom again click fit and now what this does it makes your fire move like that so let's um let's compose a little bit of it so you guys can see how it looks like um basically what you can do now after it composes a little bit uh, you can see how it looks like and i'm going to be showing you some of the different things you can do now with your fire this is how your fire is going to look this is basically the, the, the tutorial but i'm going to be showing you some other cool things you can do so right there that's how a type fire plays like i said it doesn't look super realistic but it does look pretty cool so uh depending on how you draw your fire uh, you can play around the settings um you can change your fire size to you know you can change it to 200 and it'll change the way your fire goes uh we pre-compose it a little bit more to show you a little bit how it looks like the higher your fire is uh, the crazier it's gonna be so you can play around a after you have everything done you can basically play around with your size and change the way it looks um after that you can even change your colors you can go back to your glow over here and you can change your colors to you know i don't know blue like a lot of things you can do but um i'm gonna keep mine like this now i'm gonna be showing you real quick for all of you who want to uh use your flame on another video to place it on another video well, basically what you do is you go up here to composition you click pre-render actually you don't do that you go up here to layer and i believe it's pre-compose where is that at I believe to highlight your layer and you go to layer and pre-compose right here so all at the bottom so pre-compose right here you click that and it'll come with this box you can keep everything the same just click OK and now you have your composition basically what you can do now is if you have another video file all you have to do is um, drag this composition into um your video file and basically you will have your flame right there to make your flame smaller or bigger 
all you basically have to do is use the uh, markers here at the bottom. Now, obviously, this is being really stupid. But generally, that's how you do it. Right there, there we go. So that's how you can make your fire bigger or smaller. So if you have a really, you know, if you want to have your fire and you're not so big in your video, you can just minimize the size and it'll still play as it did before. But that's basically it. That's how you make fire in Adobe After Effects. Like I said, it doesn't look super realistic, but it does look really good. So if you're fine with this fire, then there you go. That's how you make it. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be making some more tutorial on Adobe After Effects. So stay tuned. Check my channel out. If you like the video, press like. Leave me some comments. Uh, if you know a better way, feel free to share a better way. Uh, you know, we always like to improve. And we always like to, you know, if you, if you know how to make a better fire, the free way. You know, a lot of people want to buy stuff or download big files. So if you know a better way or have some suggestions, please do leave them in the comments. I do appreciate all your comments. I replied to all my comments, you know, within about in two to three days um, so yeah, if you have questions or comments leave them there and I'll answer them as soon as I can uh, if you have to subscribe I have plenty of tutorials on GIMP on designing on audacity you know a lot of other programs or just general computer things so if you have to do that subscribe please I do appreciate it so thank you for watching one last time and this is G Smart I'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere